Okay, in this video I'll show you how to sew canvas. Obviously you want to avoid that because it is uh, a weakness in the canvas if you have to sew. But if you have failed to have enough canvas on the sides so that you can enlarge, this is how you do it. Um, so, first off, just find the line, a straight line, and you can go back and forth like this so it keeps it's easier to find where you need to sew. You do that with the two canvases that you need to, that you are going to sew together. And make sure that they're straight. And it is an advantage also to start from the very beginning so that this doesn't uh, start pulling, uh, pulling away. So that's quite okay. And I have my my needle here. Let's see. I made a little knot on it. Hopefully that will uh, keep the thread from from um, slipping. And this is something that in Norwegian at least is called bear thread. So you want want to have some some strong thread, of course. Okay. I'll make sure I have it fairly fairly in order. And especially important, of course, when it comes to the actual front side of the canvas. So I'll go in here, and this will probably not be too exact, but at least I secure it at the end here. So, like that. And let's see here. Like this, you leave a little bit at the end so that you have something to work with if, if needed. And so when you get started, it's a bit of a hassle because you have to remember to not to, to have this in the same length and try to get it right. But you can correct that when you come to the front of the canvas. Let's see here. And obviously you should make some kind of a knot. You don't necessarily need to, to do a very, very tight knot or, or many knots. What you need to do is to just secure it because of course it won't pull in that, in that sense. So just one more go to, to secure this and let's see where I end up. You can see it here. And I can make make a knot there because it's it will be distributed across a long long line, so you don't need to you don't need to uh, um, make too many knots either, and not very complicated knots at all. If you think it's not enough, you can just go back to it and and continue or do more knots than what I'm doing now. So. Okay, so that's secured. Keeping in mind the length, so this meets this. Seems okay here. And what I do is that I go a centimeter, which is a little less than half an inch, I guess, and then I have to be quite anal about getting it correct in the beginning. And let's see, it's not a big problem if I'm not totally exact on the sides, but I have to do it correctly quite soon. So I go one length, then half a length back. And this is where I need to be careful already, yep. Here we go. One length, half a length back. So, and that's already quite secure now. Let's see here, keeping this one length. And yep, it goes in here.
like that. I mean, you you would normally have, depending on the size of your canvas, um, two to ten uh, inches extra outside of the canvas, so you don't have to do this because, of course, it takes a bit of time too. I had to do this once on a landscape, and I think I spent the whole summer sewing, which is not what you want to spend your time doing. Um, okay. When it comes to the length of the thread, you could um, you need at least a dub double the length of, um, of what you're working with, um, or length of the canvas, so that you are that you are um, sure that you have enough. But also remember, if you are, let's see, I have to think and act at the same time. If you have a uh, long canvas, if this was uh, three feet, five feet, you could probably benefit from having separate lengths so we don't have one long thread because of course, if something should happen to the thread, you don't get, um, that doesn't affect the whole length of the canvas. It, it would be easier to, to fix. Also, what you could do, and I can show you that now because I need to sometimes check the front that things, and I haven't got, gotten far enough, but I will check the front that they are, I want as, as little as, a gap as possible here. So I don't have yeah, a deep gap. I want to have that as close as possible. And what you can do when you see the thread, or to the degree that you see the thread, you can do at least one out of two things. You can either go, uh, go over it with some acrylic gesso just on the thread to prevent it from rotting, or come to think of it, you could probably even, you could probably even uh, soak the thread in some, um, in some animal skin glue, and then sew, sew the canvas afterwards. So the oil doesn't make the, the thread rot, because of course that's a potential weakness when you do, do um, enlarge the canvas by sewing. So basically the method is quite simple and it's just a matter of doing this until you get to the end. I still, <clears throat> I still try to keep a straight line at the very end, just to be sure that it is as secure as possible. And um, I want to go out to the very edge here, but actually the canvas is a bit worn towards the edges here, so I think I'll just stop here. Anyways, that's outside of um, where I would want the front side of the canvas to to be and then it's a question quite simply of going back and forth and then making uh, making some knots at the very end just like i've showed you in the beginning so what you get here then is a you shall think about that you of course you'll stretch it stretch it then you will closer or better see the thread at least the holes and as I said you can either go with some uh, acrylic gesso just on the threads to prevent them from rotting or you can even try I haven't done it myself but you, I, I think you could try to just soak the thread in some uh, some uh, animal skin glue and then uh, sew so when you stretched it you can also if this comes in a very un inconvenient place you can also once uh, your thread has dried, or the uh, gesso has dried, or however you do it, um, you can use a palette knife and fill it with paint. And of course, that's also why you don't want a huge gap, because you don't want you want as little as, as paint to, to fill up there as possible, because that may, may be a weakness in the canvas. So 
This is how you can do it if you have failed to have enough canvas on the sides. Please try to remember that. If not, you can quite simply sew. Thank you for checking out this video from the School of Apelles. Go to caveofapelles.com slash subscribe and access our premium library. That's caveofapelles.com slash subscribe.